G'day guys, welcome back to TIG Tech. My name is Petru and today we're going to be looking at the Rubber Ducky. Uh, so it's a uh, hardware ID um, keyboard and um, you guys have probably heard of this from um, from Mr. Robot. Uh, it was featured on Mr. Robot. Um, so today I'm just going to walk you through very briefly on uh, how you can compile your own script and how the scripts work and um, and we'll execute it as well and, and see how it performs. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Um, I am working on some more of these types of videos so I know that uh, these sort of videos get the most views so, um, so I'll be sticking to that sort of stuff. Um, if there are any special requests that you want, um, yeah, send me a uh, uh, comment below and um, let me know and I can see what I can do. So let's get right into it. I'll, I'll give you a quick overview of the uh, of the rubber ducky and what you get when you do purchase one. I got mine with my Elite Fill Kit. The, um, I think it was the 2020 uh, Elite Fill Kit. Um, and uh, sometimes they those kits do change so you might get something different. So uh, you just get the package. Um, just comes with this little paper package and inside of the package you've got a few little different bits uh, so it comes with a little card um, rubber ducky card it's a uh, it's being picked up by my green screen there but you get that little card with some instructions inside and um, you also get this little uh, USB uh, adapter for um, the micro SD card that it comes with and that's just so you can plug that into your computer and modify the scripts or um, add uh, injections onto the drive and then move the SD card onto the uh, uh, rubber ducky. Um, it also comes with a little adapter, micro USB to USB A adapter. Um, and that's so you can plug it into devices like uh, smartphones if you wanted to brute force um, uh, pin codes. Which uh, I think that was that was actually featured on um, Hack Five not that long ago. Um, I'm not sure whether that's been patched. Probably has been now, but um, I'm sure you can find a use for that. And then, last but not least, we get the actual rubber ducky itself, which uh, just looks like a standard USB. Um, but when you open it, and this little bracket, that little bracket comes off, and then. Uh, it takes a little bit of experience to learn how to get this thing open but that black shell comes straight off of it like that and then the USB part comes out so that's the USB there and that's the SD card which is right in there so that SD card you can pull out put it into that little uh, USB um, adapter and then you can transfer files to and forth. Um, it's not actually a very big SD card, and it doesn't really need to be. It's uh, 128 megabytes. So I'm going to pop that back in there, since I've already got the script loaded up. And I'll run you guys through um, what script I am using. So if you can see on the desktop here, I've got... Uh, a ducky script folder which has um, two files there's a inject.bin and there's a payload.txt now the payload.txt is what the payload is and the inject.bin is the compiled version of that payload which is um, being run by the uh, the rubber ducky so that's what the rubber ducky actually executes um, is that inject.bin so essentially you could say that that's the program that runs. Um, so if we have a look at our script, um, so this is the script that I've got written here, and there are a few default, uh, sorry, delays, and there's the initial default delay. Um, so just briefly what this does is it will uh, do Windows R to open up the run terminal, um, and then it will type in notepad.exe, We'll press enter, notepad will open up, um, it will then uh, paste this string, or type it out, uh, and this is the EICAR test malware file, if you haven't heard of that, um, that's used to test antivirus uh, systems uh, to, to, to make sure that it can detect things, um, 
and then it does a control s to save that file um, it will then put the string um, with the uh, user profile so this will be whatever the user profile is of that machine because uh, obviously you're not going to know what the user profile is when you plug it into a to a computer so by using uh, some sort of uh, variable like that um, it will just go to the user profile uh, desktop ERCAR.com um, is what it will save the file as and then I'll do an enter and then an alt F4 to close uh, notepad um, now what's really important are these delays the default delay has to be there because um, one you're not going to be sure exactly how fast the computer is that you're attacking um, if you do plug it into a computer that is a bit slow you want to make sure that you're allowing enough time um, between when you plug the device in and before you can actually do anything um, on the system so 3000 I think that's measured in milliseconds should be enough for the system to um, detect the device set it up and have it ready to, to be used um, and then you're uh, going to the uh, GUI R which is Windows R um, and then there's also a delay of 100 milliseconds before it starts typing the notepad.exe um, again if you just press if you if you didn't have that delay and you just did Windows R and it just started typing out notepad.exe um, it's too quick and uh, the run terminal wouldn't open before uh, before it starts typing notepad.exe so the script will be in the middle of typing notepad.exe and then the uh, the run terminal would open so you've got to make sure you've got the right amount of delays there um, and uh, yeah so just between each of these is a hundred millisecond delay uh, which uh, which I find is sufficient you can play around with these times to make it a bit quicker but for the purpose of testing this does work for me so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how you actually get this script um, which you can change and you can uh, put this into how, uh, any um, you can modify this to change change the the uh, string that's uh, saved into the notepad file um, you can add things onto it um, there's a whole lot of things you can do so what you will need to use is the uh, ducky encoder so it's the ducky toolkit so at duckytoolkit.com um, and then you can go to the encoder um, paste the uh, the code that you want there so this is actually called ducky script by the way um, so you put the ducky script there uh, select the language um, I'm not sure if this language is um, if it's supposed to be the keyboard language I'm um, yeah not too sure about that but I just always set it to US and it just works fine um, and then you click in code and then you download that inject.bin uh, the you don't need to download the ducky code but you can if you want to just uh, keep it there but it's that inject.bin that you really need so that will uh, compile this into a bin file which your robber ducky will read um, and then be able to execute on the machine so let's just um, close this off and we'll give this a test so I'll close all these ones off here um, so I will plug this into the machine now I'm not going to um, touch anything and I'll just let it run its course and I'll explain what it's doing as it's doing it all right so that's in and I'm not touching anything so it should after a few seconds automatically do a Windows R to open up the run terminal there we go uh, so I've already done a CMD before so it should now type out notepad.exe there we go and then I'll press enter to do the OK I think I can put my hands down now you guys understand that that's all doing it by itself um, and I can't type this fast anyway so so you'll see how, how fast it types out that EI cast string. There we go. 
Um, and you can imagine that could be a, um, uh, a, a bash script even, or a, um, um, like a shell script, remote shell that you could type out into notepad, save it as a shell, um, and, uh, uh as a PowerShell file and then execute it. Um, it's then putting in that user profile thing. And as soon as it's saved it, Windows has detected that that's a, um, a virus or a threat. Uh, and then I'll do the Alt F4 to close off Notepad. And there we go. So at this point, if this was some sort of malware that the system could have, couldn't detect, um, the system would be infected at this point. And then uh, you could execute that script that you've written, um, establish a remote connection to the computer. And uh, yeah, you've, uh, you've caused a lot of damage at that point. So that's basically the rubber ducky. Um, at this point, uh, it won't do anything else. It's uh, shut itself off. And um, yeah. So if you do have any questions about that, or if there's a, another uh, experiment or demonstration that you want to see, leave a comment below. Let me know. Um, subscribe if you can. Hit the bell icon. And um, I'll be able to keep you up to date with any other activities that I do. So it's a uh, bye for now. Um, I'll see you next time.